The top two in the under 14 section went head to head at Crumlin's outdoor facility. Glen Torn out to close the gap on Belfast rivals Linfield at the top of the Subway National League standings. Just three minutes in, neat interplay between Matthew Lusty and Charlie Allen brought about the Blues' first attempt, with Allen firing over from outside the box. Moments later, Lusty gave away possession to Glen Torn's Seamus Duffy. Duffy's fine through ball picked out Cian Storey, but Storey's effort was cleared off the goal line to safety by Robbie Ritchie. With the teams enjoying separate spells of possession, the game flowed from end to end. Linfield's Allen again tried in vain to pick out one of his colleagues. But again it was Glen Torrens' turn to attack. Charlie Lindsay's excellent 24th minute through ball found Storey, who couldn't test Blues keeper Jamie Moody, and the game remained scoreless. Allen was then involved again as the Blues went in search of an opener. Some neat skill took him past Daniel McElroy. He played a 1-2 with Lusty, but Harry Wilson was well positioned to clear the ball off the goal line. As the match neared half-time, a goal looked ever more likely, but as it turned out, much to the surprise of the spectators, it was 0-0 at the break. The Blues, though, didn't have long to wait for a goal. Oshin Connolly outmuscled two Glen Torrent players, teeing up Lusty, who crossed again for Connolly to volley in past Ryan Dazelle to make it 1-0 to Linfield. And it proved to be a crucial goal in keeping the Blues clear at the top, and the players knew it. 1-0 behind, Glen Torren went in search of an equalising goal. Jimmy McDonald set up Jimmy Stanley, who brought this fine save from Jimmy Moody. With time running out then, it was Linfield who almost notched the second goal. Connolly took up possession initially, the ball broke to Matthew McCrory and then to Michael McDade who fired straight at Dazell. Full time Linfield 1, Glentoran 0. Well it was a good game, Linfield Glentoran, it's always a tough one. I think in the end they just about cheated it, uh, second half. They probably deserved it but I mean there was a debatable penalty at the end there but it happens in these games. I mean last time we played them it was 4-2 to feast and this time definitely big improvements from them so I think all in Linfield too they can all be proud of their performances. Uh, we've been playing there another 10-15 minutes but uh, we just look like we're starting to run out of ideas to be honest. 1-0 uh, I mean it's a cagey game it would be pretty horrible for the neutrals to watch that one but as coaches we're going to take a lot of positives out of that because there was some nice football played in spells but it happens I mean that's Linfield uh, they're 8 points ahead now so it's going to be tough to win the league from there. Well, it's looking good. We're still going to try go out and the performances are key here. I mean, the results will come if we just give 100% and the lads, they all seem to be enjoying it. I mean, it's going to be a pretty gut and change to go back to there, but we're going to build for next week Crusaders, so hopefully we'll get the three points there. I always think we're solid at the back. We haven't conceded many, many goals. Uh, they hadn't really, didn't really trouble the keeper with a, a lot of shots or getting them behind us because the back four's done really well this season. Uh, but there's always that chance that they could nick one. Goal very well worked. Uh, it was actually the first time we played football. We Matty Lusty get down the wing and Ocean get bust into the box and actually got the credit for being there when the ball delivers. Uh, very, very even game. You're never going to get a big score. And, uh, local derby, especially in the Linfield Glen Torn game. It was a tight game knowing that a win would have put us eight points clear, a defeat would have put us two points and all to play for. So a very narrow 1-0 win which you know, taking a big day like this.